Hello, this video is to demonstrate a new feature that's going to be in Vixen 3.6 Update 1. Um, this addresses uh, some of the, the long-standing need to, uh, for better ways to be able to share sequences in, in Vixen with other users. So conventionally uh, in the past, the, 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 about the only way to do that would be to get the entire profile from whoever you wanted to, to share with and then load that up side by side with your current profile and copy and paste effects over from the elements that you were interested in and that works fairly well you know as far as you know being able to see what you can uh, what the other profile is doing and playing and looks like but it can be pretty heavy-handed if especially if the profile is big to try and move around large uh, data like that so uh, added a new feature here to allow you to actually export a package uh, of sequences and and most of the pertinent data from from a Vixen profile to hand off to somebody else and then they can then uh, use a tool to map that to to their existing profile. So I'm going to demonstrate how that works here. Um, so I've got a profile here that's um, from one of our our users that you know, have shared profiles in the past, and um, I'm interested in um, grabbing uh, a particular sequence uh, from that person's profile to import into mine. So. I've got this one here. I'm going to kind of just show you. I've picked a, a, a spot in it or so that um, we're going to take a quick look at. So if I play this, you can see there's a, you know, a mega tree, a grid, some singing elements up here, and some mini trees. I'm interested in kind of mapping these to a, to a profile that I have. So uh, I'm going to go through that process now. So from this uh, side here, I'm going to show the export. So under tools in the main me uh, menu, there's now a uh, export and import sequence package. So this is for native Vixen 3 sequences. So I'm going to start with the export package. And uh, the first time you use it, uh, this will come up. It'll be empty. Um, I've played with this numerous times before. So there's um, lots of um, sequences uh, in here right, that um, are in the profile so you can choose this button here this loads all the sequences in the sequence directory for you automatically or you can use the browse button to actually pick out uh, the ones you're interested in so I'm just gonna pick um, a couple of them for for good measure and uh, we're gonna start with two of those there in that point um, so now I'm going to hit the next button. This comes up and suggests a place where I want to export this package to and a name. So by default, it's going to put it in the export directory. It's going to name it by um, uh, the profile name, and V package is the is the extension for this. And I can choose to include or not include the um, audio from from that particular um, set of sequences. So the next step here is I move on. It gives me a summary. It's going to export two sequences and where it's going to go. So I hit the next button. Yeah, some progress here to see where this actually works to land. We'll wait for that to, to go through. So it searches through the um, sequence, looks for all the media files. You know, you saw there was a, um, a big matrix there. So there's some, you know, video or, or picture files there that um, uh, it's picking up. And it's going to be packing all that stuff into a, um, into a sequence package here. All right, now that's been completed. So that um, put packages up everything there. I'm done with this profile now. So typically, in most cases, you probably won't be doing both sides of this where I'm showing in this demonstration. So I'm going to load uh, Vixen up again, and now I'm going to choose my profile that I want to go to. And uh, on this side here, um, I'll give you a, a quick look here from the preview perspective. Um, I've got some elements that I'm going to map this to. 
So here's a, um, a mega three and a star. Here's a, a matrix. Uh, we got some singing basses here that were, you know, that are like the ones in the in the profile. It could be any kind of singing elements, and some mini trees here. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of map into this. This is, you know, just a made up um, profile here to demonstrate how this is gonna work. So I close that up, and then I'm gonna go to the Tools menu and I'm gonna do an import. And here in the upper part, I'm gonna choose. Uh, the sequence package. So I'm um, gonna go look where I save that at. Just export here. Grab that V package. Put that in there. And now the next step here is to to map that to my profile. So um, for the first time through on using somebody's profile, you're not gonna have a map. So you're gonna click the create button. And this will bring up a a screen here where on the right hand side will be the the elements in your profile that you're going to and on the left is the um, elements in the profile that you're importing from so you can see here there's you know it's got the items kind of you know I can walk through the tree what I'm going to do is take in um, you know take this grid and I'm going to drag it over here and map it to the grid here I'm going to map this mega tree over and I can just take and walk through here and map the pieces of the elements that I want to use in my sequence here. So after I've mapped up which ones I, I want, then I would say OK. And it'll um, ask me to, to save this. So I'm going to uh, create a simple folder here, file here and save that off. And then that file that I saved will then be automatically um, put into the path here for the map to use. Um, so I've already done some mapping on this before. I've got a map created. So in this case here, if I already have a map, I can go choose it, open that up. And then I'll show you here this map that I've done before. And it loads up here. Already has all that stuff mapped, so you can see I've got all the mega tree mapped. I've got all the the mini trees mapped here that I that I want. So this one's in the essence of time. I just map this up, you know, to ahead of time so that it's um, more complete. But you can you have the option to create it from scratch or use a previous map. So the next it'll pick out which sequences are actually in the um in the package that I'm importing. So I'm really just interested in this one at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead with that. I'm going to import one sequence, and it's going to put them in the default sequence file for the or folder for this um, profile. So it will walk through remapping that sequence and putting things where they belong. So now I can go and open this up. My sequence that I want is there now in my sequence directory. I open this guy up and you can see all the effects on the items that I, I've got this turned on so I can see which elements have you can see the mega tree the, the star the mini trees the matrix all have elements on them now so that um, you know, matches from um, from the other sequence so I'm going to come in here and pick a spot here it's already marked because that was marked in the other um, other sequence where I was playing from so all that comes over um, the layers were that were in the other sequence will automatically come over any mark collections that were that were used in that sequence are automatically imported as well so I have a pretty full sequence here uh, of everything that I need um, so I'm gonna just you know hit play on this uh, real quick and you'll see now that the mega 3 and the stars working there's the matrix up here singing faces uh, this particular profile the singing faces were done the old manual way there's the mini trees so all that comes over and now I've got a working sequence here to start with uh, the one thing that um, you may have to do some work to is if on the matrix there was some face mapping done with uh, images um, you'll have to, you know if you you'll have to set up those maps for whatever images you want to use uh, those won't necessarily come across, but uh, and the same with the actual face mappings that might have been in the other sequence. As long as your um, elements on your side have the face mapping correct on them, 
then the new lip sync effects will should come over and work correctly or in this case this one was done the old way with just the manual process so you saw those come over as well so this should provide um, some some uh, easier way or another optional way to share sequences between um, different uh, folks in the future there uh, this will be in development build 888 uh, and also uh, the soon to be be released 3.6 uh, update one uh, probably in the next week or so so hope you enjoy that new feature